Hello and welcome to Topper Edge, a contemporary and insightful guide into what every parent needs to know about securing their child's future. पहले के मुकाबले आजकल कंपटीशन इतना बढ़ गया है कि हर पेरेंट के दिमाग में यही सवाल उठता है दैट हाउ विल देयर चाइल्ड परफॉर्म बेटर एट स्कूल खास करके क्लासेस 9th से लेकर 12th तक जो कि बोर्ड एग्जाम की क्लासेस हैं सो व्हाट एवर द बर्निंग इशू यू आर फेसिंग वेदर अ स्टूडेंट अ पेरेंट और एन एजुकेटर दिस सीरीज विल प्रोवाइड यू ऑल द आंसर्स While some parents still grapple with the internet and are even anxious on how it can be misused by their children, it's become an indispensable way of life for the younger generation. After all, it is in keeping with the can-do, fast-paced lifestyle of the students themselves. But surveys tell us that the internet is one area which Indian parents and educators are yet to fully come to terms with. So, as a parent, instead of worrying about the information highway that your child just loves cruising on, you need to guide them. to leverage the internet and new age educational resources like television to supplement the school education when it comes to students they take to the internet like a fish takes to water and i can vouch for this by looking at my own two little nephews so can the internet be leveraged as a resource to supplement the school curriculum aaiye baat karte hain mr shantanu prakash se jinhe high tech education ka guru bhi kaha jata hai Shantanu Prakash founded Educom Solutions Limited in 1994. The company now serves over 19,000 schools and 9.4 million learners and educators. It has 27 offices worldwide. Shantanu has an MBA from the IIM in Ahmedabad and his vision has been to transform the teaching and learning process through the use of technology. Thank you so much Mr Prakash for agreeing to be on the show and taking out time. I wanted to ask you why is it so important to leverage modern teaching techniques like the internet and television on channels like Top. This ka what's been happening over the past several years is that while classroom techniques and technologies haven't changed the world around the student has completely changed. A students today live in a multisensory learning environment. Now the old system of rote learning where the teacher simply does chalk and talk does not seem to cut ice with the students anymore and you can see the results in the final exam scores that come out mm. as many as 60% of students mm. get somewhere between 60 to 70% and that's a huge concern because these marks are not enough for students to get into competitive exams or get into good colleges mm. so what's needed today is a new age learning methodology mm. that actually creates a multi sensory learning environment mm. around the child and help the child learn mm. in the most convenient mm. and comfortable medium that the child is comfortable in mm. so when you look at something like the internet mm. today's kids are kids of a digital generation yeah. they are born in an internet environment mm. and the kind of interactivity that they get in the internet mm. the kind of audio visual stimuli mm. that they get when they are watching a television channel mm. these kids respond very well to these kind of learning so technologies feel, so you feel modern techniques like the internet and television actually aid learning and thereby help in better results at Abs- exams absolutely in fact a lot of research that has been done clearly points to the fact that when you do audio when you do visual when you make the subject more interesting for the child when you liberate a child from the drudgery of the classroom mm. it sparks off the joy of learning mm. then the child can actually get engaged mm. and understand what's being taught mm. and he is not a slave to the drudgery of the classroom environment and the boredom factor and the boredom factor and that's exactly today what kids are looking for parents are very skeptical about using the internet and television for children particularly the internet i can completely understand that parents are skeptical about the use of television mm. because if you look at television today all it's composed of is entertainment and most of it if i might say is mindless entertainment with something like topper it's actually a boon for parents now they can let kids be in front of the television and not feel guilty about it because the kind of learning the kind of experts that are on topper tv this is eye opening for both students as well as parents coming to the internet i agree that the internet can be a dangerous and unsafe world but if a child is on the right website it can actually open out new vistas of learning 
So I went to the Topper Learning website, mm -hmm. and I was amazed at the at the structured way in which they have organized all the information. Mm -hmm. There are question banks that are available for students. Mm -hmm. Students can actually go back and view all the past episodes. So if you went and you were learning organic chemistry, mm -hmm. but you didn't quite get it in the classroom, mm -hmm. you would watch Topper TV. So if so you, so how how do you uh, combine? Uh, old traditional ways of learning with uh, modern technology such as the internet and television how do you effectively combine the two i for one believe that it's not a either or combination mm. it's not either you do the old way or you do the new way it has to be a judicious blend and combination of both so ideally you go to a classroom pay attention in the classroom to the teacher those topics that you can't fully get because let's face it the job of a teacher today is more difficult than it's ever been mm. you have 45 students in a classroom each student is clamoring for attention mm. the curriculum has become so vast what can a poor teacher do now when that student needs that extra special attention mm. he can then go to topper tv mm. and slowly watch that episode and get there what are, he needs to sort of what, fine tune exactly to, what to that he specific needs. point and if he still cannot get it there's topperlearning.com and on that website you can revisit that episode again and again you can take tests so you can benchmark yourself mm. do i really know this topic the way i thought i knew it mm. you can you can talk to other students it's a community as well and i think those features are very compelling mm. because something like this has never before okay. been offered anywhere in india so i would actually go as far as to say that this is a new revolution mm. that is going to change students learning forever how do how do students maintain a certain level of consistency as far as education goes tiska that's a great point that you have raised mm. and i think if i were to point out what the single biggest challenge mm. in indian education is i would say it is lack of high quality faculty mm -hmm. and that is a problem that topper has solved i was looking at topper the other day mm -hmm. and i was amazed to see the kind of the credentials mm -hmm. of the faculty that are available mm -hmm. now these are phd's from the best universities from the iits from the iims mm -hmm. for a student to get access to these teachers mm -hmm. I think it's a dream come true. Mr. Prakash, 10th and 12th are seen as sort of life altering classes for students. How do you think that preparation for boards and these critical years, how do you think Topper helps with these years? I have spoken to students who have been on Topper TV and who are in the 10th and who are preparing for the 12th board exams and they tell me that the you know some of those concepts that are very difficult to understand mm -hmm. and students were stressed out they were struggling with these concepts mm -hmm. when they saw the graphics and animation and the nice way in which the teachers on topper tv explained it mm -hmm. it was almost like a eureka moment for them mm -hmm. it was like a light bulb flashing in their brain and that said oh i got it so it was real education as opposed to just mugging things or just learning it, by rote exactly mm -hmm. and that's most useful when you're, when you're in the 10th or when you're in the 12th mm -hmm. and you're struggling with the curriculum that's you know just increased over the years thank you so much for sparing your valuable thank time you. and talking to us thank, thank you. you so much